Is it tacky that they already have Christmas lights up? <laughs> I think it's cute. You're lying. <laughs> Some mixed messages here. Yes. Hey. Lizzie's vlog win. <laughs> I asked Lizzie, when is our boob vlog footage going live? Hold on, say it again so my hands not covering the mic. So organic. <laughs> Lizzie has made me redo this five times. I want to do an insert. Lizzie cut out our boob vlog footage because she didn't want to give spoilers, which I appreciate. Thank you so much. But I said, you need to show it. Where will you show it? So we're going to show it here. <laughs> You're welcome. You look like such a weird like housewife. Thank you. <laughs> this is a very expensive wig. It's a nice one. I went to like an actual wig store and the sales people were just helping so much that I felt obligated. Was it like $300? More? <gasps> but wow. it's like super lace front. Get up close with this really expensive wig. Oh, wow. Mm. So we're just a couple of girls in our fake toddies. And, and that's, that's the sip. <sighs> Undo this corset. Okay, bye. Right now. <laughs> My arms are numb. I think Chris farted again. Oh my god, I did not fall. <laughs> Here she goes vlogging again. Chris is meeting mail packers. I'm so excited. And he's like, acting he like a serial killer outside of Leah Michelle's funny girl dressing room. Don't bring around a cloud to rain on my parade. I'm like actually so Ooh, shit. Look at that. Here? Where are they? Calvin Klein Where could never. Yeah, I think we're just gonna take a minute and appreciate Ryland Adams' physique. Thank you. Looking good, bro. Cool. Do you have a shirt for you? No homo, but sure. <gasps> my Hi! God. Oh my Hi, God. Lizzie. Look at Lizzie's front and center. Oh, she knows her course. place. <laughs> Hold the fucking phone. What? Take it back. What? Tell me, tell the audience what you just told me. Oh, so Lizzie is the mama of Balenciaga, which is like the cute little baby we have. Lizzie's a mom! Yeah, when they put her in. And so the neighbors said, hold on, Lizzie, come here. Me? Yeah, the neighbors said they were like, because they put one of the guys in to get one of the girls pregnant. And the deal was if it was a girl, it'd go to the lady that has girls. If it was a boy, it'd go to the boys. And they were praying that Lizzie wouldn't get pregnant because they didn't want the baby to have buck teeth. And of course, Lizzie got pregnant. <laughs> the baby doesn't have buck teeth. Because we're fuckable. Because Lizzie's are fuckable. <laughs> Ow! You look so handsome too. It's like f that. Oh. <laughs> one of the number one comments on my vlog is how handsome you are. Oh, I should go comment. Spooky season is upon us. I can't be not excited about it in a super cringy way, so take me as I am, how I was meant to be. Take me, baby, or leave me. Anyway, to get into the spooky vibes, I am gonna make another spooky treat. Today, we're making haunted devil eggs and a pumpkin cheese ball. And when I'm done with those things, my friend Mal is gonna come over and we're gonna sit in the backyard and we're gonna tell scary stories. Let's get cracking. Literally, I'm gonna crack these mother friggin' eggs. They're pretty cute. I was looking into how to make the haunted devil eggs. So I started last night without you people. I did it without you guys and I'm so sorry. How dare you? But look how cute. So last night I hard boiled six eggs and then I put them into a bag with food coloring to dye them. First I cracked them, then I put them into a bag, like a big gallon bag with food coloring and water to soak them overnight so that they would die. And now I'm worried that because I put water in it, they weren't gonna, they didn't die as well, but let's see how that went. Perhaps the spookiest thing about me is my uh, disorganized refrigerator. Boom! Ah! Are you scared? Behind this smoothie, are our deviled eggs. <laughs> Stay with me through this, guys. I swear to God, it's only gonna get cringier and stupider. Ooh. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how to do this without making a big mess. I think maybe I'll do it on a cookie sheet. 
uh, yeah, I've got gloves on so my fingers don't die. I pulled out a cookie sheet or a baking sheet and I put some paper towels on it. So I'm gonna pull the eggs out of this black shit and put it onto the towel for peeling. Ooh, guess what guys? It smells like eggs. All right. Man, I'm worried I didn't, because I put water in here that I diluted the dye and they're not gonna be dyed dark. Wouldn't that ruin Halloween? Oh, it kind of worked. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. <sighs> Instructions, boil the eggs as directed in the monster egg post, done. Place your cooked egg yolks in a small bowl and mash them up with a fork, stir in mayo, mustard, Worcestershire sauce, hot sauce, food dye, salt, and pepper. Small bowl. I'm gonna cut the monster eggs in half and add the yolks to the small bowl. They've been halved. Well, that's just fucking great. Hey dude, I'm vlogging. What? I said, hey dude, I'm vlogging. Oh, what are you? Is those oysters? No, they're eggs. Why are they like red? They're haunted devil eggs. Hold on, now you're going in the vlog. <laughs> this is McKenna Lay of Thea. Am I actually gonna be in it? Yeah, now maybe. I, I might cut this out, depending on how boring it is. You know what that is? Do you know what that is? Great. That's just fing great! Okay, now I'm gonna add. Uh, Two tablespoons mayonnaise. One scant tablespoon mustard. That means nothing to me. The word scant means nothing to me, but I'm positive it means something to someone out there. So let me know what scant. Ah! Ow. Boop. One teaspoon Worcestershire sauce. I love Worcestershire sauce, dude. A splash of hot sauce. She likes Frank's Hot. So I'm gonna use Frank's Hot. Seems splashy. Green gel food dye. Does not have a measurement. We'll do this to sight. Like Exorcist puke green. I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant. Oh yeah, that's the vibrancy we were looking for. So I did green and yellow food gel. Now, next instruction, scoop the filling into the egg whites and sprinkle with pepper. Here's the deal, dude. I need to know like how much to put in there at a time. So far, I'm not loving this recipe because it's not giving me enough directive. Like I'm kind of a dummy. I need, I need the help. I need the support. Also, she's clearly not just scramp putting it in like how I'm putting it in. Whatever. Here's the deal. Compare and despair, people. This is a lesson in being yourself, honoring your own personal capabilities, and also they're supposed to be haunted devil eggs. They don't need to be piped in there with some fancy egg yolk shit. You know what I'm saying? This ain't the Met Gala, but honestly, these eggs would slay there too. And that's on self-love, period. I've never made deviled eggs before. Deviled eggs or deviled eggs? I also don't know that. I've definitely put too much in each egg because I'm running low on yolk. Take a little bit off the top of some of these monsters. And that's what happens when you don't get a clear directive. I definitely think using a bag with yolk in it would have been much easier. It's time for the Billy Doe taste test. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, all right. Haunted devil egg. Yeah, you definitely have to close your eyes to eat this one. It's so now, cute. I am a deviled egg enthusiast. I so know. I do know my deviled eggs. From the look of it, it's already wrong, but... Interesting. It needs chunk, though. Uh, it needs its pickle to be real. It's too blended or mixed in. What does that mean? Like, uh, you know, it needs to be pickled chunks. Give it a little snap. 
There's pickles in deviled eggs? Some. Kind of like... Now people may not agree with that, but... <laughs> and is it deviled or doubled? Deviled. Like the devil? Yes. Cool. <laughs> so let's see, I'll give that... Just because I'm such a deviled egg connoisseur, I have to get a 7.5. All right, I'm gonna try it later with my friend Mao. But right now, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and I'm gonna make the second snack for our haunted stories later, which is pumpkin cheese ball. Well, that's great. That's just great, man. Now what the are we supposed to do? Using an electric or stand mixer, combine both cream cheeses. Then stir in two tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch mix, green onion, red pepper, and one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Okay, I'm actually gonna do this by hand because I don't, I'm afraid of the mixer. Okay, Ryland gave me a beautiful mixer that matches my kitchen and I'm scared of it and I don't know how to use it. Bullshit. Um, what's this Mountain Dew? It's been there for a long time. Should I drink it? Probably. I'm on this weird kick of like really wanting gross shit. So we're gonna cut this out because we're gonna use the stem from the red pepper later. Bop. Tea break. Okay, so the cheese is softened, the is diced, the mother do be sliced. I gotta combine this cheese though. I'm gonna use this big ass fork. Now I'm gonna stir in two tablespoons of Hidden Valley Ranch. Um, my tablespoon measure is dirty and I'm not gonna clean it because I have a long day. Tablespoon. We're gonna splash some mother Red Hot's original. It hath been splashed. Ooh, smells so good. It smells so yummy in my tummy. Gonna need a big bunny. I do not need more of this. Ah, f one cup of cheddar cheese. This is two cups of cheddar cheese, so I'm gonna just dump half of it in. See, I don't need my mixer. I got these orange theory arms. So the next directive is to put cling paper down, or cling saran wrap or whatever down. I don't have saran wrap, I only have parchment paper. I'm spreading it out a little bit to make like a nice base. Base. I'm just liberally scooping the cheese onto the cheese. <laughs> it's the leaning tower of chisa. Okay, I buy it. You know what I wish I had done? Added bacon bits to this. I'm an idiot. Okay, now I'm gonna add more shredded cheese around it. Yeah, girl, that's a motherfucking pumpkin. So cute. Okay, for the pumpkin cheese ball, I am skipping the tie around thing because honestly, I don't understand. And I'm also, as I said, a busy lady who doesn't have time for lots of things in this life. I'm just gonna put our little guy into the refrigerator. My scary story. Ah!